here again. It's the ninth edition of the GCCI Trade Fair Gambia International with this year's theme promoting public-private partnership for national development from December 19, 2015 to January 10, 2016 at the Independence Stadium, Bacau. <laughs> We're very pleased to welcome this time special and strategic partners, including the Enhanced Integrated Framework AIF under the Ministry of Create Industry and Employment, the Kanilai Family Farms, NEMA and GCAP project as partners. This is especially in support of agribusinesses and growing what we eat and eat what we grow. For the first time, we're taking extraordinary measures both in security and safety, and we'll have an increased number of police in addition to the fire and rescue services resident throughout the trade fair. We look forward to welcoming you to Trade Fair Gambia International, December to January 10th. Hello viewers, welcome to another exciting episode of the Market Alling. It's the International Trade Fair organized by GCCI and their partners to promote public-private partnership for national development. The Honorable Minister of Agriculture was here today and he went around to stores. We had an exclusive interview with him. MS Promotion in collaboration with GCCI are organizing a fashion modeling show here at the Independence Stadium in collaboration with Gambian artists. This main aim is to bring to light the fashion designers here in the Gambia on stage. We will be talking to consumers to hear their views as we all know the International Street Fair is coming to an end on Sunday. There are many more coming up on today's episode episode of the Market Link and I am your presenter, Minta Yane. Thank you for joining us. Viewers, we are here with the Honorable Minister of Agriculture. He, he, he is here at the trade fair and we all know NEMA is under the agriculture and they are also one of the partners and then the participants of this ninth edition of the International Trade Fair here at the Independence Stadium in Bacau. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, madam. Thank you for giving us this privilege to interview with you, sir. Mm. Based on your own view, how do you see this international trade fair? Uh, thank you very much, madam. I am really impressed with what I have seen. And during my interaction with the farmers, I am really impressed with uh, the caliber of organization done here. Because farmers are even saying that they want this to be an yearly event or even more than an yearly event. They want it to be done nearly every two or three months, actually. So that shows that it is well organized, and I am really impressed with it. Yeah. Um, how can this trade fair help the growth of public-private partnership for national development? Uh, actually, according to most of the farmers, they have difficulties in selling their products out where they are now. If you create a place for them like this trade fair, it's just a matter of creating an avenue for the private partnership that we are talking of. So actually, if such an avenue is organized, maybe in the long run it will foster the private partnership that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. What are your expectations? Uh, I am always on the side of the farmers. I expect that we do it every three or six months, if we can. Yes, yes. Anything you want to add up to that or any word of wisdom? No, no, no. Only that I'm really impressed. I'm really happy with what I've seen and I commend everybody that has taken part to make it a success. What emanated you to be at the stadium today? Uh, actually, it was my plan to come here since last week. Okay. But just after my appointment, uh, it was my intention to come and see the farmers because I understand that most of them are sponsored by the projects under the ministry. So it was my intention to come here. But at the latter part of last week, towards even today, I was busy going in and out of cabinet, so I had no chance to come. But today I made it a point of duty to come along with my farmer and secretaries to come and see what is going on. Because the farmers, they would really appreciate seeing us here because they are working with us and if they are here and we are at the office without coming to see them, maybe they will not appreciate that. You don't see how happy they are today yes. because they have seen us. Okay. Yes. So during your visit, some of the farmers have lamented so many of their constraints. Yes. How do you, the Minister of Agriculture intend to address some of those no, no, issues? We are, we are working on that. Most of them, like the people from Sarakunda, are talking of a garden. Okay. And according to Ami, they are in the pipeline. 
And the lady at Sukuta also, myself, I posed a question to her to ask her why is it that most of the part of the garden in Sukuta is not being cultivated. He said, uh, the woman said that maybe lack of water around that area. I mean, I mean, already made it clear to me that actually plants are on the way to get those places being rehabilitated so that they can put it under cultivation. So what do you think is the way forward in, in terms of uh, improving agricultural production and productivity? In fact, we are working on that. We are doing all what we can. This is why the President, His Excellency, Chef Professor Al Haji Dr. Yaya Eji Jambe Babel Mansa brought in all the projects that we are talking of now. We want production to be boosted, we want farmers to get income out of what they produce, and we want to grow what we eat as well. So, this is why the president felt it to bring all the projects that we have under us now. Yes. So, what comment do you have for GCCI in organizing this trade fair? No, no, I am really happy with them. And actually, I am commending them for what they have done the organization I am really happy with the organization and I am calling on them to put these things together because most of these things uh, the frequency you do it is how you enlighten people about it so if you want to leave it dormant for a time before you get it back where it is again normally it is very late so the frequency of it will always awaken people as to what you want and maybe this is where development comes as well mm -hmm. so the Ministry of Agriculture will you continue to sponsor the farmers in increasing their no, no, product. We, we, we will do that. We are doing that always. <laughs> Maybe you are a live witness to that. We are doing all what we can for our farmers. Okay. They are our farmers. We are doing all what we can for them mm -hmm. so that they can have income in whatever they produce and we push their in production. Merely the, the littering of extension workers across to help them and bringing in projects to build dikes for them, bringing in projects to build gardens for them and water facilities and everything is all geared towards development. So we are doing all what we can for them. Yes, if, even if we can bring the sky down for them, they are our people who will do it. Yes. And Neymar have been praised for providing a tractor for the farmers. Mm -hmm. So what do you think the other agriculture as the Minister of Agriculture? In fact, I, I told the ladies there, there is a lady from Boyram who mm -hmm. was saying that sometimes it's very difficult to get access to machineries yes. the, uh, during the rainy season. I told her to emulate Mbapa because they went into the margin grant and they were able to get money to buy a tractor. So with them also, the margin grant is there. You are only provide 10%. 90% is given to you free. So I think they can tap into that as well so that they can also get a tractor or any other thing that they think will be good for their farming In activities. Nutshell, you are satisfied and you are impressed with the trade fair? I am very. We are here with Hannah de Kassam. Hannah de Kassam is from Image Promotion and also Mr. Momodu Laminba. They are all from the executive members from Image Promotion. Basically, they are organizing a show with the fashion designers here in the Gambia at the International Trade Fair here at the Independence Stadium in collaboration with GCCI. We talked to them and they will elaborate more on the show. I'm Hannah. And then the main concept of the show that's going to be taking place on Saturday, which will be collaborated with the closing of GCC International Trade Fair, would be promoting underground tailors and artists. Well, although they're well-known artists, but we're also promoting it because the main concept is to promote Gambia, everything Gambians are doing. So the reason why we're taking underground artists is because they're not known, but we want them to be known. And them being known is by using us young, talented Gambians. I'm one of the few models that are going to be participating on that day is to promote us talented Gambians to participate on that day and like show what the tailors can do, not only what others know them for doing, but let the whole Gambia and worldwide know them for doing what they are doing. Thank you. Can you elaborate more on that in the local language for the benefit of our viewers are there? Yeah, Jere Jeff Ajara to Wai Balama Kumase. Aunzibilahim in a Satan Rajim Bismillah Ramani Rahim. Come Nakalakohana Wahe Rai 
a mixed promotion of a new in collaboration with GCCI on Saturday. So we have done an arm this fashion show. We have done both of them. Teloi, we have tried to promote. In a way, we have done a new thing. It is high time. We modeling is not all about that we new new one is in Jeremy. Why do we new one come back as you have done? New Gambian, new Komuna, Defar. Then new Komuna, Defar locally. We have at the end. Locally, we have to promote it in the international community. We have to promote it in the promotion of the NECA for the NECA. So, we have to do it. So, we have to do it. We have to do it. We have to do it at the stadium. And the artists who are going to perform it. Because we have to do it in the Gambia. Tetapi kami kami asal tak hejok dan lafal kau wara jaral. So lafal kau jaral lolo tak nyu nyu punyo with such an idea boh hamne at the end nyu dinen make sure ne gine ne luba as far as modeling is concerned in the Gambia. Why the image promotion and GCCI decided to choose the Gambian tailors that are high like people don't know them? Why do you guys want to showcase their talents for them? Like put it on what they are doing to bring them out to the public to be known. Well, as the concept says, it's promoting Gambians, especially the youths, because most of the tailors we're using are not um, like big peop uh, known people. They are underground, as you said it. So we want to take this opportunity as it's Trade Fair International. Whilst others are showcasing their things, their goods, we want to showcase also the tailors and what they can do to promote, to uh, uh, show people that not only the big tailors can do what they, they're doing, the other tailors can do, because sometimes you... A person can wear an outfit that is amazing, smashing, and you'll be like, where did you get this from? And they're like, from that tailor. Who's that tailor? They don't know that tailor. But yet still, he's doing wonders underground. So, exactly. So before him doing it underground, we want to make it known to people that just be being behind the curtains just does not make you some other person. It makes you a, an icon of your own. But now we want them to get out of the curtains and be known to people and be an icon of their own. So that's the main concept, to promote underground artists. What else do you have to say to the viewers uh, that, that are watching now? Well, what I want to say is, let them come on Saturday and see what Gambian tailors can do, what they can showcase, what they can sew. And it's not only about exposing the body, because now what people don't understand is, sorry for my language, but descent is sexy. Being descent is one of the most amazing things you could ever be. So the main concept is descent, traditional, and people. That's the main concept, being decent, being traditional, and being known to people. That's why we're inviting everybody to come watch us on that day. Thank you. Um, can you learn how to walk and walk? You know, I'm not going to be scared. And you know, somebody know scared and learn. Um. Wow. Come now, call up. I'm going to hear the angel erect. I'm going to dinner next door. Somebody last seven o'clock. Dinner fine. Inshallah. The dinner deflo. I'm going to musu fe. I'm. The dinner angel la tamit adju inyo tamit muna kalo. I'm going to tamit la famuk diyo kure. The duwa nyeku. Jering and Jeff, thank you very much. Auntie, how are you doing? I'm doing it for a long time. I'm doing it for a long time. Well, viewers, I'm doing it for a long time. I'm doing it for a long time. I'm doing it for a long time. We're going to be a craft market. We're going to be a craft market. We're going to be a craft market. So, we're going to be a tourist. We're going to be a tourist. Kalau jika ni dengan dia jenar linjau jaya, one like you, bahana begini sangat nimla jape. So after trade fair, need muna nyu sana gambe si craft market. Wow, exactly. Man sana gambe craft market lah neka. Semua stall number bangi neka number two. So nyu ngam nyu fa. Kalau jika ni kalau iguri, ak semester ini nyu lain fa neka. So you are welcome. Bahana. Jadi Jeff Antel. You welcome pinta. Jadi Jeff Kontana. Thank you. Thank you very much viewers, that's all we have for you on today's episode of the Market Link. But do join us tomorrow for another exciting episode from the entire GRTS and Afinity crew. Have a wonderful night and I am your presenter, Pinta Jani.